Hi guys, this is episode 12. We are doing CRB strategy. I'm here to update you because I think I have ever done a video on CRB. But anyway, let's get into this video and we'll be doing four hour, but remember CRB can be done in any time frame. You can do it on monthly time frame, weekly time frame, daily time frame, four hour. If you go below four hour, I don't know because for me, I'm not a low time, uh, low time frame trader. My time frame starts from four hours. So every strategy that I post here, I will have uh, back tested it, used it using four hour, strategy, uh, four hour time frame. So C means current, R means resistance, B stands for break. So whenever you watch my videos from now henceforth, I'll be talking of CRB. I'm waiting on CRB. It simply means I'm waiting on the current resistance break. And then I'll do another updated video on CR on CSB. CSB will be current support break. So we'll do that uh, after this video. So now you know about CRB. And I think the reason why uh, uh, brought me to this strategy is because of the frustration. I felt like a trader. And for me, guys, unlike you, most of them, uh, most of you have so many like mentors here on YouTube. When I was starting back in 2020, we didn't have so many people that are teaching authentic uh information so many people are using indicators and all those things and for me i wanted a price action strategy so it was a bit hard so the normal way i used to analyze the market was if i'm told to put support and resistance i would mark my chart let me tell you i was so generous marking my chart and i will mark every point comment down below if if you are doing like this or if you still do like this so if i was told mark your support i'll mark those four lines and then if someone says, uh, if I'm analyzing a resistance, I will mark those spots. I'll mark like four lines, five, six lines. And then I get confused what next. I've marked my zones. Like because the information that was out there was to tell us that mark every point that the market has really gone to and get uh, rejected. So basically, this is how I used to analyze the market. Don't laugh at me. I know majority of you also do this and I want you to stop doing this. Stop marking resistance at every point that you find. Use CRB for you to, um, to simplify your work. And that's why I'm taking this opportunity to train you because um, if you can't afford my mentorship, of course, this is the golden opportunity for you to learn. But at all, if you want my mentorship program, I charge $400. And June class, it's coming because already May class has started. So yeah, it's the way you want it. If you want it for free, be my guest, learn from here. If you want it paid, pay the class and join the class. So let's begin. So for me, coming up with CRB was from frustration of marking the charts like this. So let me delete. So what I used to do now, or what I used to do was not working until I discover CRB, current resistance break. So let's try and see our current resistance break. And my, uh, uh, I have done a video on how resistance is formed. That's another video. Maybe I'll do an update on how resistance is formed. So my current resistance break or my current resistance is there. This is my current resistance. And my, my, my current, um, my, I can mark my current resistance and then I mark the lowest point of this market. So I can mark the lowest point of this market is there. That is my lowest point of that market. So when I have my lowest point of my market and have my current, uh, I have my current uh, resistance, I will also mark my current support. My current support now, it is there. Because current support, how is support created? It's a green, is a red candle followed by green. So I have my current resistance. If I have to mark my highest resistance, I have to squeeze my chart and maybe my highest resistance, guys, should be here so there are four things that you need to mark in your chart only four lines current resistance uh not highest resistance lowest resistance current support and current resistance four lines only so now the most important thing is to know what the current resistance has done do we have a bos and you can see guys there's the bos there so the minute you have bos in this market of course, the market uh, will do some retracement. Some, some market do retracements, other don't. So 
I don't want to get into details of BWA because I strictly say that BWA is for my students. So I don't want to get into details. But whenever a break of structure happens, we use BWA strategy to know what to do next. So we are not interested with the BWA strategy in this video. We are interested with CRB, current resistance break. So we need an evidence of a resistance has been broken. Then we are pointing out how will we approach this market? So once the market broke like that, we can see retracement is happening. And you can see that they have come back to our current support. So this is our current support. So how do we get in? We get in if we have current resistance formed. So let me show you where our current resistance will form. And current resistance forms when a green candle happens, followed by red. So we have that green candle. So we monitor that we don't have actually a, resi a current resistance unless a red candle now occurs. So immediately a red candle occurs. We, we don't want to sell. So don't tell me, oh, we should sell. This video is not for us uh, focusing on current support. It's for us focusing on current resistance. So I don't want to confuse you guys. So whenever you get that current support uh, resistance now, we have current resistance. Now this one has shifted. We do not have that as our current resistance. So it has shifted. So our current resistance is there. Remember or note, current resistance will keep shifting according to how the market is going. So we have our new current resistance. It has shifted. Now we have this one. So let's try to see until where current resistance will get broken. So you can see sellers were very, very powerful. If we were talking of current support and how to enter, that was a good sell. But today we are focusing on current resistance. So we get to get a green candle, but a green candle, the buyers have to come and break our current resistance so that we can continue buying. So let's try and see what happens. Will they able to break above the current resistance or will they create a new current resistance? Guys, what has happened? Buyers have created a new current resistance. So you just shift it down. And remember, there are people who will ignore the week. No, we don't ignore the week. Their current resistance now is there. So we continue like that until where our current resistance will get broken. And that's how you avoid getting into early. You see where people get into early. Yes, the market is a buy, but all this is a retracement. How do you trade an end of retracement? So let's continue. Buyers now comes in and we want to see if they, the current resistance change. And you can see if a green candle is followed by red, automatically we have a new current resistance. I hope you guys, you're following. We have a new current resistance. And the only thing that we want now, we want current resistance break. And you can see buyers are not able to break each current resistance that is created. And then we have that. So it's like a consolidation. It's like a ranging market. So the market, the buyers are more willing to break this area. You wait patiently. Don't be in a rush. Just wait. Just wait. Guys, what has happened? Finally, after how many attempts? After two attempts. First attempt was there. Buyers never broke current resistance. Then they came here, never broke. The third resistance is where buyers are breaking. Remember where the market was. This is where the market broke. Where the market broke, that is our, our first take profit. So this market, we are anticipating it will come back to where the market broke. Are you seeing where we got that break of structure? So you just mark it there. That is your that is where you target your take profit, where the market did the break. So you enter this trade. This is a very easy trade. And practice on it and you'll see, you will see how this market will go up. So that is 118 pips. That is assured. I said BWA is not taught in public. It's only private for my students, but other strategies I'll be coming here and teach you. So now we are able to take 118 pips, guys. 118. Be because our current resistance has broken. So let's play and see. After four hours, what happened? The market starts to go up. The mass, the market, the price goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. Is our TP hit? Did it hit TP? Our TP, I think it is hit. 
and you can see that was an easy trade. There were no interference. There were no much retracement. Actually, retracement was very few pips. Very few pips. 12 pips. And the market moved up with 118 pips. Guys, what else? What else do you want to see? This is an updated CRB strategy. How do you know that the market will go up? Just monitor that resistance break. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have understood something. I hope it has been informative enough. If it has, like this video, comment down below. Make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel because I'm dropping more than 60 videos this month of May. It's a month of revelation and I'm willing to reveal everything that God has given me. So thank you so much and I love you.